Hi, I'm Logan. And I'm Kevin. We are students at the University of British Columbia Okanagan campus, and this is our Engineering 359 Microcomputer Engineering project. For our project, we created a dynamic obstacle avoiding robot with Bluetooth capability. The microcontroller used is the Tiva C Series Launchpad from Texas Instruments. It was programmed using the Inertia IDE. The frame, wheels, and motor are an off-the-shelf robot kit. The motor driver used is an L298H bridge. It uses the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor to measure the distance. The sensor is mounted on a servo and encased in a 3D printed head. The Bluetooth used is a HC05 Bluetooth module. The robot starts in Bluetooth mode, where it is controlled with a remote control app. The user can toggle into autonomous mode, where it self-drives. In this mode, input from ultrasonic sensors is processed and the robot decides on the best path to take. While the distance is greater than 35 centimeters, the robot continues to drive forward while making minor corrections. When distance is less than 35 centimeters, the robot stops, looks around, and decides on a new path. The robot can drive forward, backward, and turn left and right. This is a breakdown of the code. So what we have here is the pinouts of the actual devices, the pinouts of the Tiva board, and the following using the Inertia pin mapping diagram as seen here. Some of the key features of the code was using the LEDs, lights, to let the user know exactly what the robot's decisions were making uh, to allow the user to debug on the fly. The motor control is through the H bridge and just using analog writes high and low and the speed is varied from a value of 0 to 255 for the motor speed. The servo sweeps are writing values in degrees. So this is the code to do the range sensing. It gets the distance. This is critical to trigger the pin low before triggering the pin high again. And this calculation is for converting the distance to centimeters. The decide and turn code. When the robot is closer than the maximum distance, it stops the robot and picks the direction with the highest available distance. If the robot is closer than the minimum distance all around, it will back up. The constant pan and sweep allows the robot to dynamically move about. Serial 3 was used for the Bluetooth. The baud rate was set to 115200. The main function flushes the serial and looks to see if there is a command available on the Bluetooth. It then reads that and if it is the toggle command, it goes back into the remote control mode. If it is not, it returns to the pan distance mode. This is uh, the manual control mode, so it reads the data that is 
currently setting up from the Bluetooth controller using a app and it sends ASCII characters to the microcontroller when they read them and it determines what command to execute. This is a schematic of how our devices were connected to the microcontroller. 